Have you ever wondered how we get electricity? Of course you haven't. You just push the on button and there it is. It's a part of everyday life that we all totally take for granted. It's always there, like air or gravity. But it's not exactly the same, is it? For a start, you don't have to generate gravity. Or distribute it to millions of homes through thousands of miles of network cables that will go four times around the world. And who ever heard of a hospital, a business or a house having a gravity cut? Electricity doesn't just happen. It has to be generated from natural sources like wind, water and the sun or nuclear reaction. Or from fuels like gas, waste products or coal. OK, so how do you power an iPod from lumps of coal, for instance? Well, you burn it so that it heats water to incredibly high temperatures. The superheated steam turns the blades of a massive turbine which drives a generator, producing several thousand volts. This then goes through a step-up transformer to become hundreds of thousands of volts. But hang on, your iPod only runs on 230 volts. Wouldn't hundreds of thousands of volts melt your headphones? Yep. So the voltage has to be lowered at one of our many substations before it gets to your house and then your headphones. EDF Energy are involved in every part of the energy cycle from generation to distribution and customer supply. And it takes the skill, energy and dedication of thousands of people to keep that power flowing. Every second of every day. Every time you press that on button. We're also involved in huge new power projects like the Channel Tunnel Rail Link, Heathrow Terminal 5, the Emirates Stadium, and we're racing to get everything ready for the London 2012 Olympic Games. Because you need more than just a flaming torch to power the Olympics. You need talented people like Emma, one of our project designers. She designs new power systems to be future-proof, efficient and to conform to all the latest environmental standards. Jointers like Amish make things happen. He lays and joins all the cables, fits out the substations and ensures everything's hooked up to the supply and properly tested. Field engineers like Michael also play a vital part in looking after the network and ensuring that all the new homes and businesses in the area have a bright future. You see, EDF Energy is powered by all sorts of people. Outdoor types, office types, doers, thinkers, number crunchers, technicians and engineers. Demand for electricity has tripled since 1970 and there's no doubt that this will continue to grow in the future. So there's a non-stop need for your skills and talents to keep our 7.8 million customers switched on. You can be a part of EDF Energy through an apprenticeship or engineer development program. Or join us after uni as a graduate. So what qualifications are we looking for? Well, good grades in these GCSEs. English, Maths, Science, Design and Technology or a Level 2 Engineering Diploma. For graduates, a good degree in Electrical Engineering or similar for our Engineering Graduate Programme or a Business Degree for our Commercial Graduate Programme. At EDF Energy, you can earn as you learn. Apprentices start on 19K and fully qualified engineers can get up to 55K. That's thousands per year, by the way, not kilovolts. You also get 25 days paid holiday a year and could even get to take a career break and travel. We'll give you all the training and support you need to grow, learn and develop your skills and achieve your ambitions. Take Patrick. He started out as an apprentice engineer and now he's a director. EDF Energy needs more people like Patrick and people like you to help us be the best source of energy expertise for the future. We are committed to sustainable energy from natural and renewable sources and to lowering CO2 emissions by over a million tonnes over the next 10 years. So we're always looking for new ways to tackle problems. We listen to your ideas and act on them. You can help shape the future. Remember we told you electricity came from things like wind power? Well, we missed the most important one out. Brain power. Brain power is the purest, most natural source of energy. Brain power is the future. With brain power, anything's possible. Put yours to work at EDF Energy.